Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. Hey, we're a little bit behind Casa Cristina today because um, we're down here videoing the Frontoya, which is the uh, olive mill that we are collecting donations in order to um, renovate. We're gonna make it into a little piccolo museum and uh, it's gonna be like a little slice of history. It's from the 1700s and uh, we want people to come here and see what it was like when this place was just an agricultural paradise. So, um, so we're gonna go in and take a look. Okay, here's the door, and that's the street. Okay. Salvatore had to bring us a torch because it's dark inside. These are stones from the region, which I just love as far as the stairs go. And here we are. Okay, wow. Doesn't look like it was touched for a long, long time. Allora, this lì. Oh, yeah. Macinavano le olive. Ok, possiamo Qui, entrare? Sì, okay. buttavano le olive là, c'era l'asino yeah, yeah. che faceva girare quella pietra. Ah, ok. Quindi li frandumava. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Quindi usciva fuori quella pasta. Ok. Poi veniva inserita qui, lì sì. dove c'erano dei dischi di, 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 di corda. Dischi di corda. E un disco di ferro. Ok. E uh -huh. si spalmava questa pasta e si facevano tanti strati. Ah, ok. Poi, e quindi con quella pressa uh -huh. che girava, sì. usciva poi l'olio. Sì, ok. E andava a finire là dentro, okay. dove c'era un recipiente. Ok. Poi c'è un attrezzo, una specie di cucchiaio sì, grande okay. uh -huh. che si toglie l'acqua okay. e l'olio. Si raccoglie l'olio perché è più leggero ah. e va a E l'acqua restava nel ah, fondo. Okay. Era un lavoraccio perché era tutto sì. a mano. Sì, tutto a mano <ride> con assine. Okay. Poi lì quella, quella vite è di ferro è stata sostituita. Uh -huh. Mentre la vite antica l'hanno riciclata per farci l'architrave. <ride> Oh, <laughs> they use the old stuff to make the architrave. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Era un architetto come te. That's resourceful. That's, That's right pretty there. good, yeah, yeah. Ti facciamo luce là, va? Sì, sì. Okay, I'm going to follow you, Pete. Okay, we are in the bowels of the old frontoio. Now, this is very interesting because I wondered, it looked like such a small area, but you can see there's just enough room for donkeys to walk around and uh, roll this wheel around on top of the olives. So the olives came in, they were crushed here. Quando erano come? Crushed? Alla pasta? Dove, dove la pasta va e questa macchina va? Nella, la pasta, e nella strettoia. La strettoia. Che veniva poi schiacciata in modo che usciva l'olio dai lati. Ah, ok. Ok. So here, the olives were put in the center here. Sono al centro gli olivi anche. Sì, e sì. poi vengono le asine. Eh, un asino che fa girare quella pietra. Solo un asino, ok. Solo che gira sempre intorno. <laughs> ah, sì, poverino, okay. <laughs> there was one poor um, donkey that always walked in a circle and he would bring this uh, wheel around and crush all the olives. Then the paste would be taken up and put into this machine that we're going to show you in a minute. Allora, che c'è qui? In tutto il paese ce n'erano 24. Oh, 24, there was all... Ed è l'unico rimasto, per questo il nostro progetto di recuperarlo. Sì, ok. There used to be 24 of these in the village. This is the last one remaining, mm -hmm. and you can see it needs a little love, which is why we're doing our GoFundMe, because we're going to fix it all up. It's actually quite a beautiful structure, wood on the top. Allora, in questo foro... Sì. Si infilava un palo. Un palo. Di legno. Okay, a piece of wood. Che veniva legato uh -huh. all'asino. Yeah. 
e quindi lo faceva girare o così Ah, ok, ok. Perché dava la spinta. No, così. Mm -hmm. Ok. Così. così. Sì. Allora un asino molto forte perché questo pesa sì. tanto. Sì. Ok. Vabbè, ma poi girava su se stessa. Sì, capito? perché poi c'era molto l'olio. Yeah. Quindi era molto lubrificato. Quindi sì, oh, sì, 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 esatto. Ok, ok, good. Perché vedi, vedi qua c'era un pezzo di legno con una punta di ferro. Sì, è qua oh, che allora girava facile. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. oh, that made it a lot easier. Okay. That little point of yeah. uh, iron down point there on point. top of the wood kind of uh, supported the um, the big wheel well, pretty well. Yeah. See, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is quite a beautiful, beautiful place. Okay. This is in really good shape. Ma per le, le ani è in buon condizione. Come sì, anche. andrebbe consolidato. Sì. Magari mettere dei consolidanti, uh -huh. e della rete sopra. Sì. E, ecco, un rinforzo va fatto in quella muratura, ah, in quella sì, lesione, sì, sì. Oh, yeah. però va lasciato abbastanza in questo modo. Yeah, so, uh, as far as the renovations go, here you can see that the wall has lesions in it. And you can even see a little bit of uh, daylight through it. So we have to fix that. And that's done by taking a steel mesh and putting it on both sides of the wall and then just reinforcing it really, really well with the steel mesh and possibly rebar and everything else and then cementing over it. So that's a, a project. It's um, something that's going to cost a little bit of money. And then, uh, lasciamo questa, questa... I think we're just going to clean this up, right? It looks like it's in great shape already. You have to uh, reinforce the wood ceilings because they've been here for a while. But again, you can do that with the um, the mesh and whatnot. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. In that angle over there, in that corner, is where the um, donkey would eat. Okay. Purtroppo là se ne doveva sempre stare qui. Sì, oh, poverino. Prigioniero. Un vita, una vita. Vediamo. Oh, yeah, there's the oh, chain. Okay. There's the chain for the donkey. Wow, okay. Oh, okay. Questa okay. vasca invece si accumulava il residuo del nocciolo, tutto ciò che andava accumulato, buttato. Okay. So in this tub, this is where, um, this big tub where it just came out from the uh, part where they took out the olives, I mean, where they crushed the olives, this tub caught all the uh, extraneous stuff, the nuts and all the things that you didn't want. Um, I would imagine they were carried by hand outside and maybe used for fertilizer or something. But uh, that's where it ended up. Now, after it was all crushed, you had this machine here. And this would press it. So it would basically go, go down and press it. Back in the day, I think they used baskets. And it would press and roll out from the baskets and be caught in a receptacle down below. So um, this is really, really beautiful, this old mill. We do have to fix these ceilings, the walls. Che facciamo con i pavimenti? Solo lasciamo terra? Il pavimento andrebbe tutto ripulito. Sì, clean it off. E poi lasciare magari inserirci dove mancano un po' di pietre. Sì, ok. Non fatte a massetto, però sempre rustico. Ah, ok, ok. What we're going to do in here um, is clean it up and put some stone down, uh, but keep it rustic looking. I mean, obviously we don't want people tra traipsing through the dust and dirt to get in here. But it's going to be very much um, like it was back in the uh, 1700s. Mille uh, setto... setto? Mille settecento quaranta. Ah, 1740 around. So, sono quasi trecento anni. Almost 300 years. Okay, okay. E qui invece c'è un piccolo vano. Okay. Che successivamente ci tenevano il maiale. Oh, okay. <laughs> sì, sì, sì. <laughs> okay, they had a little thing next to it where they kept the pigs. And there's a little pig feeding trough down there. And I think the pigs were probably quite comfortable. I find it fascinating that you're just tripping through the village here. And uh, here's these modern uh, houses and apartments and uh, everything else. And then all of a sudden, whoa, a 1700s olive mill. 
and it needs a little bit of love and restructuring and then there's another modern house <laughs> i find that absolutely enchanting so yeah we're going to fix this thing up it's not going to be that expensive to fix up it just needs mostly support work cleaning up and you know put it back to where people can really see what it looked like in the 1700s when they were crushing olives in the manner that they used to crush them so in addition we've also done a video today on a more modern frontoyo down at the bottom of the hill we're going to have that video up as well so you can see the difference what well, phase two will be that we were, we're going to buy this section here and this will be a little uh representation of the house where the person who owned the frontoyo lived and it will also be part of the museum but we're looking into phase one obviously there's structural work it costs a little bit of money so we're going to go ahead and do that i think that alone is going to be really really fantastic and i can't wait to see what it looks like because this is a really just gorgeous structure anyway i hope you liked it uh go get my olive oil course i'm donating a portion of the proceeds uh to the olive mill project so that we can get it done see you soon